it had been so incredibly hot that I've done no shooting whatsoever in a while. I haven't done much of anything, to be honest with you. Uh, it's just too daggum hot. But today it's cooled down just a little bit. So I get out here this morning and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, experiment, a little more experiment with the Kibler Woods Runner. If any of you watched the channel, or, uh, you know that uh, I got a new batch of uh, Go X, or a batch of the new Go X in. And in my Tennessee rifle, and none of my flintlocks, it just didn't shoot worth a flip. I mean, it didn't shoot nothing like the old stuff. The old stuff was great, and the new powder was just terrible. Which I've experienced that a lot with smokeless powder. You know, you go, you have a powder that's pretty good, you know, and shooting good. And you run out of that batch and you go get another batch and it just don't shoot at all. Well, this was really my first experience with uh, black powder. That when you get a new batch, it just don't shoot right. But I had, uh, for the past 40 or more years, I've been shooting same powder, you know, 40 year old powder. And finally I run out of it. And when I did, and I went and bought some new, new go -X, Some of the, I bought some of the first go -X that the new plant just put out. And let me tell you, it doesn't shoot anything like the old go -X. Nothing. It was terrible. It shot all over the place. And the rifles I had. Then I got this Kipper Woodtron. And it didn't shoot worth a flip in it either. But, I had a problem with the barrel on this rifle. It just, actually it didn't shoot any. It just started shooting erratic as a devil. It was shooting left, left, left. And it, every time you pick it up, you, it just keeps going left. And the shot groups are all over the place. And you totally miss the target sometimes. It was just terrible. So I sent the gun back to Kibler, and they replaced the barrel on it. And the barrel that they replaced it with shoots the new Swiss fantastic. I mean, it's accurate as all get out. And just before I uh, quit shooting a couple weeks ago, I tried a little bit of that new go -X in it, and it seemed like it was going to shoot it pretty good. So out here today, what I've got, I've got my Kibler with the new barrel, and the new go -X. So I'm going to shoot it and see what it does. If it, it acts like it's going to shoot pretty good a couple of weeks ago. So let's put it to the test and see what it does today. Well, let's get started. Sun is shining on that front sight. Causing quite a bit of glare. So Handle under blacken that front side a little bit. Put some soot, put some candle soot on that front side. Blacken it down, take some of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's better. Alright. 
Let's see where that went. First shot. Don't look all that great. A couple of deer just went across the field right behind the target. It's not shooting as, as accurate as the Swiss by any means, but it is shooting better than the old, I mean than the, than the, the old, the, the original barrel in this uh, Kibler Woods run. It's definitely shooting better than that uh, in this part barrel, but it's still nothing to brag about, at least with, with that load. Uh, so let me jockey that load down a little bit. That was with 90 grains. And that's what it apparently seemed to shoot pretty good before. I was shooting 80 grains of Swiss and 90 grains of this before and it shot pretty good. And it's still shooting okay. It's not shooting as good and it's shooting slightly left. Why that is, I don't know. That could be just be the flare of the sights and the light here. That, that, that could very well be that. The, the glare of the sunlight. There is sunlight on that front sight. Even though I blackened it and everything else, that could cause you to shoot a little bit off windage wise. So. <laughs> now, why? I forgot it, I don't know, but I didn't use an over powder wad on any of those three shots, and I always use an over powder wad. <laughs> ah, anyway, I've upped it to 100 grains, and I put my over the powder wad consisting of two. So let's just see what this does. Holy moly, bright sun, tremendous amount of flare on that front sight. So. During my loading process, I, I get kind of careless and wipe the black off of my thing. I remember not to do that.
maybe. <laughs> but anyway, what a little bit of testing I've done, you know, this time, what little bit I've done so far this time, and a little bit last time of that. I tried this uh, new go X and this new barrel on the winch on It's not bad. Accuracy is not bad at all. And the, the toe, the toe that I'm using, this is at least the second time that I've used it. It's at least the second time. And I might add what I'm using here for lube today is what a lot of people refer to as miracle lube. It's a miracle or not, but it works good. It's a mixture of Dawn dish detergent and water. You can literally, I don't know how long you could keep loading this stuff, but for a long time without swabbing more out. And it's amazing. It really is. Uh, it allows you to do an awful lot of shooting without having to swab that bore out. Pretty good stuff. Uh, Again, where I like it quite a bit, you know, for plinking, target shooting, things like that, where you you shoot it pretty soon after you've after you've loaded. I wouldn't, I don't think, recommend it for hunting load. Uh, <laughs> if I would quit wiping the set off <laughs> in my loading process, I usually manage to touch that front sight. which wipes my black off. <laughs> and I didn't get it black and good enough that time.
How am I shooting so far today? Oh boy. Huh. Big chunk of my flint's gone. I'll have to replace the flint, that's for sure. That one's about broke right in half. But anyway, a lot of uh, getting enough spark to set this thing off or not. Uh, my shooting so far today has been with a 20,000 inch patch. And right now I'm dropping it down to a 10,000. Let's see what the difference in accuracy and point of impact is. All right, it's still at 100 grain load with uh, 3F new go X, but with, <laughs> but with the 10 thousandths. Keep wiping my candle black off my sight. And then this bright light, uh, that black in sight really helps. One shot, don't necessarily. One shot, don't necessarily tell you a whole lot, but <laughs> that one shot with that thin patch went right in there with the others. Wiping my, my loading process, keep wiping the black off. You think I quit that one of these days? I don't seem to be in any hurry. Boy, you since you stick that silver sight out there in that sunlight, you know you need something. All right. Here we go again. bad. That's not bad at all. Not great, but it's not bad. Okay. One last shot, 100 grains. Uh, 3F Go-X, new Go-X. 
in a really thin patch. Ah, I do that. You'd think one of these days I'd quit doing that. All right, it's still that 100 grain load with uh, 3F new Go X, but with, <laughs> but with the 10 thousandths. <sighs> Keep wiping my candle black off my sight. I get careless when I'm loading and wipe my sight with my finger. And in this bright light, uh, that black and sight really helps. All right. Here we go again. <clears throat> you know, conventional wisdom says I shouldn't be shooting very good at all right now. I've, I've varied my patch thickness ten thousandths. I'm shooting just as accurate as I was with the heavier one. <laughs> shooting just as accurate. And same point of impact. I mean, load that a really tight fitting patch, 20 thousandths, drop it down to 10 thousandths. With the same accuracy, same point of impact. Now, I've always adhered to the fact you only know, need a good tight patch and all that. And, you know, I'm, I'm beginning to question that. So, my test so far. Not showing that the whole water. That patch has to be a whole that deck of tight. I mean, when you vary your patch from a patch that's really tight and takes some effort to seat your bullet to a thin patch, it just kind of slides right on down that barrel. And your accuracy is pretty much the same. Makes you wonder why you've been struggling all that time. Okay, one last shot, 100 grains, 
3F Go X, new Go X, in a really thin patch. Ah, I do that. You'd think one of these days I'd quit doing that. Taking a six o'clock hole, which is right here. This is where I'm aiming. Six o'clock. My first three shots were here, here, and here. These three in there in this circle here. One, two, three. That was with 90 grains of go X. No over the powder wad. And a twenty thousand cents thick patch. Alright. So then I increased it to 100 grains. With 100 grains, it was here, 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 and here. And uh, I'm having a, a lot of trouble with glare off of my sight, so I finally started using a candle, candle here to start blacking that front sight to get rid of that flare because my front sight is in the sun. And it's, it's, it's giving me a hard time. I mean, I have a hard time seeing the sights anyway. They're extremely blurred. I have no accurate, no idea how accurate this rifle would be if I could really see my sights clearly, but I can't. But anyway, a hundred grain load here, 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 and here. Even here, that's that's pretty good. That's what again with a uh, twenty thousandths thick patch. Then. I went down to experiment again and I dropped it down to a ten thousandths. A thin ten thousandths inch thick patch. And I shot one, two, three. These three. That's incredible. These two and this one. With a thin patch and a hundred grains of Go X. It's amazing. All these three right here are right in the middle of these these four with the twenty thousandths thick pet. And I swear, what little limited testing I've done with that thin patch, it has shot phenomenal. It shot incredibly accurate. So I gotta do some more experimenting on that. I mean. The reason I come up uh, start using that thin patch, I just wanted to experiment and see if I use a thin patch. In other words, after I'm out hunting and I take a shot and your barrel's fouled and you want to hastily reload it and you don't want to take the time to clean your barrel and you want to ha just hastily reload it and go look for your deer. You'll either walk up to him if he's laying there, if you got to go trail him down, whatever need a quick reload in the woods so uh, I decided I was just going to use a real thin patch that would load real easy but could you hit anything with it that was my question and my god to my amazement it shot just as accurate if not more accurate than my 20,000th patch my thicker patch now I'm talking about a thick patch that comes out looking pristine that comes out of brown. It's pristine. I mean, I, if you watch some of the other videos, I actually use the same patch over and over because I use that over the powder wad, and that over the powder wad protects your main patch. And you can go out there and pick your patches up and use them again, as well as the toe. I can use the toe over and over again too. That's my over the powder uh, wadding. Anyway, I wanted to. <sighs> 
just see it, it <laughs> using that quick thin patch or that thin patch for a quick reload out in the deer woods could I hit the deer if I got enough shot at my gosh to my amazement it was extremely accurate extremely accurate so I've done this is my third or fourth test shooting thicker patches and dropping down to a really thin patch I mean a thin patch and that thin patch shoots just as good as that thick patch and it highly makes me highly wonder why fool with the thicker patch anyway I'll probably keep on doing it but now <laughs> if you get different results to me that's fine I'm just reporting to you what results I get so like I said I'm in, lately in my <laughs> old rage I, I began to question a lot of stuff that people just take for granted you know I mean this this is conventional knowledge put it that way well sometimes I'm not sure I'm not all that sure about conventional knowledge several times I found that it's conventional knowledge is not necessarily right uh, like you got to use a tight patch and do all that kind of stuff and they experiment around it like one or two thousandths makes all the difference in the world and maybe it does to you I have not found that to be true at all and I will keep on experimenting but I have experimented with patches I mean experiment I mean you can listen to what supposedly conventional wisdom is or you can go out and test something for yourself make up your own mind make up your own mind look at your own results make up your own mind and that's what I, I, I try to do and I just for whatever reason it took me forever to get around to con uh, questioning the just how valid is this that you can boy you got to mic them and they got to be just a precise thickness and all that stuff maybe you find that to be true and maybe you've got a target rifle that's accurate enough and you can see good enough to where you can discern a difference in one or two thousand I can't I can't I've never I, I, I can't I can't so what little bit of experimenting that I've done I found that not to be true at all so for all my purposes and certainly all practical purposes I see no sense whatsoever in handicapping yourself with using a, um, a patch that's hard to load when you can take one that easily load he loads easy and shoots just as accurate or sometimes it, it looks like it's going to shoot even more accurate I don't know I don't know uh, but I do know one thing I do know one thing I will probably continue to shoot you know and load up and shoot with my 20 thousandths and 18 20 thousandths thick patches like I've, like I've got I've got a ton of them so I guess I'll go ahead and keep using them of course but as follow up shots as hunting follow up shots I'm perfectly content using that thin patch that loads real easy in that foul barrel shoots good it shoots great so that's one thing that I have absolutely <laughs> this is like I said this is the third time that I have compared these thick versus thin pat and I get the same results every time will I continue to experiment a little more yeah I will but three different days three different tests and you come up with the same results that I see I see no difference at all none in the accuracy nor really the point of impact change at first I thought well I was getting the same accuracy but my point of impact a little bit different but then you got to think well wait a minute you you get dealing with the sun flaring on that front sight so eliminate that you know get your sight in the shade and if it's not in the shade like it is right now that front sight sticking out there in the sun I blackened it there's no difference in point of impact or anything the accuracy the point of impact it it's fine I will continue to experiment but right now I'm amazed <laughs> I'm amazed and so 
you better believe that when hunting season comes, I'm going to have some thin patches for quick reloads. Now I'm going to do a little test here. I've already fired 11 shots through this thing without cleaning. But I was using the so-called Miracle Lube, which is the Dawn dish detergent and water. Now I'm going to load up one like I would normally load if I was going to go hunt. That's using a over the powder wad, a heavy wad of grease, and a heavily greased patch. And I'm going to use a 20 thousandths patch. This is my two follow-up shots. I'm going to use a 10 thousandths pre-greased patch with no over the powder wad. These are going to be like quick follow-up shots if you're exactly out of hunt. Let me get loaded up here. So here we go with a quick test. See if I can reload this thing. Under uh, field condition. Pitch. Three degrees pitch. No old powder one. That's my quick reload while under hunting conditions. This is with a very, very dirty bark. Let's see what we can get.
pitch. Reed Reeves pitch. No old powder one. That's my quick reload while I'm under hunting conditions. See that word great. Okay. So today I have established that the new GoX is adequately accurate out of this Kibler Woods Runner with the new bar. If I couldn't get better performance out of something like Swiss. I could I could live with this. It's okay. It's not out of this world accurate, but it's it's okay. And that's just with what testing I've done so far. And I will continue to test, not just from now to the deer season. I reckon as long as I'm able, I'll keep testing. <laughs> I love to shoot. Love to observe the results of whatever test you may come up with. I just like shooting these things. So, the test today, the new GoX in the Kibler Woods Runner with the new barrel. 
accuracy's plenty good, plenty good enough. And then I tested the accuracy using a, a thin patch. My initial or my main patch is 20 thousandths. And I went down and used use as thin as 10 thousandths and I've got the same accuracy with the same point of impact. So then, with a very dirty barrel, very, very dirty barrel, as a, it had 11 shots fired through it without being swabbed out at all. Uh, but using the Miracle Loop, which is Don dish detergent with uh, some water, with those first 11, then I loaded it up like I normally would. First shot out here, plinking. And all these with 100 grains of go -ax. I had uh, my typical over the powder wad of tow, had that on there, and a, and a wad of grease on top of the, a good, a good pea-sized wad of grease on top of the tow, then a heavily greased 20 thousandths patch, and fired in one shot. Then I loaded up and fired two more shots with no over the powder wad, a thin 20 thousandths or 10 thousandths patch, it was fine. It loaded okay. And then I went back in and I loaded up one to shoot left hand. And that one was beginning, to, it was getting a little bit sticky. I had to pop the rod a couple of times, but it loaded fine. But that's, that would have been the, the fourth shot. That would have been the fourth shot. One heavily greased with toe. And then two right-handed with a thin patch and then one left-handed with a thin patch and no cleaning so what did that make it made uh, 15 shots without being without it being cleaned at all and that's with go -X powder which about everybody tell you go -X pretty pretty dirty powder so far i am pleased with how this gun shoots the go -X. and i am certainly pleased with how it shoots a thin patch. It shoots a thin patch fantastic. So now, <laughs> when I go out there to go hunting, like I said, I will probably have my typical 20,000th patch in there for my, and with a wad of tow and a, and a grease wad over top of that. And that's what I'm going to be my primary hunting load with. But once I fire that load, my next reload is going to be no over the powder wad, a thin patch a thin patch a thin grease patch and let it go with that one. I think I'm gonna be just fine but I will do a little bit more uh, testing well, a little bit right a whole lot more testing between now and the muscle of the season but and that's gonna do it for today so warming up a little bit I think I'll go back Get in the air conditioning for a while. Talk soon.